Today is Monday, and we're continuing along the journey with Job and experiencing his burdens and his blessings. Our comprehensive readings entail Job chapter 7, verse 1, through chapter 12, verse 25. And this is focused on a description of how hard life can be. Our focus section with that theme in mind is Job chapter 7, verses 1 through 21, the entire chapter of Job 7. And our verse of the day comes from Job 7, 11. It is therefore I will not restrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. I wonder how those verses strike you, that verse, when you hear it. Does that sound like something that we should be encouraged to do through the scripture? Well, let me read Job chapter 7 for a broader context. Do not mortals have hard service on earth? Are not their days like those of hired laborers? Like a slave longing for the evening shadows or a hired laborer wavering, lading, a hired laborer waiting to be paid, so I have been allotted months of futility, and nights of misery have been assigned to me. When I lie down, I think, how long before I get up? The night drags on, and I toss and turn until dawn. My body is clothed with worms and scabs. My skin is broken and festering. My days are swifter than a weaver's shuttle, and they come to an end without hope. Remember, O God, that my life is but a breath. My eyes will never see happiness again. The eye that now sees me will see me no longer. You will look for me, but I will be no more. As a cloud vanishes and is gone, so one who goes down to the grave does not return. He will never come to his house again. His place will know him no more. Therefore, I will not keep silent. I will speak out in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Am I the sea or the monster of the deep that you put me under guard? When I think my bed will comfort me and my couch will ease my complaint, even then you frighten me with dreams and terrify me with visions, so that I prefer strangling and death rather than this body of mine? I despise my life. I would not live forever. Let me alone. My days have no meaning. What is mankind that you make so much of them, that you give them so much attention, that you examine them every morning and test them every moment? Will you never look away from me or let me alone for even an instant? If I have sinned, what have I done to you, you who see everything we do? Why have you made me your target? Have I become a burden to you? Why do you not pardon my offenses and forgive my sins? For I will soon lie down in the dust. You will search for me, but I will be no more. And you can certainly hear the sense of futility that Job has experienced as he pours out his lament, and rightfully so, given all that we heard he lost in yesterday's daily devotion. And so, reflecting on how we talked about tragedy befalling Job, his friends simply coming forth to be present, we continue today celebrating the fact that at BBC, we have a wonderful community of support and love with whom we can experience the challenges in life and grow together in God's grace. Today, though, we are reminded in our reading of just how difficult life can be for some. Despite the comfort of friends and a faith that sustains us, real problems present themselves that are not easily overcome. In that case, oftentimes the only refuge we have is left to retreat to God in prayer and pour out our soul and lament. Even in anguish of spirit, perhaps we can join with the psalmist. Remember how Jesus spoke the words of Psalm 22 in the bitterness of his suffering just before his death. Even the Prince of Peace for a moment in time wondered if God had abandoned him in his misery and his suffering. It's times like these when complaint is well warranted and deserved. Remember the time when Israel wandered in the wilderness and Moses wondered if he could put up with all of their grumbling for even a moment longer? Rather than let complaint be our defining characteristic, let's take courage in speaking out in our suffering and prayer and commiseration and also in caring for others in their difficult times. Dear friends, know that I am praying for you today, no matter what you might be experiencing. I'm giving thanks for your courage and bravery and praying that nothing will be too much for you, even in the midst of intense difficulty. Lord, help us to overcome hardship and thank you for your sacrifice by which we overcome suffering and death and through which we have the promise of resurrection and eternal life. Thank you for your courageous example of honesty in the midst of hardship. Amen.